you will not find a Christian who is consistently empowered by the Spirit of God who's not engaged with their local church. And I don't mean just coming on Sunday mornings. Engaged in their local church. They're going to serve. They're going to want to be a part of small groups. They're going to want to be a part of whatever that thing is that they need to be a part of, that God's starting to be a part of, because they, it just, it just, it's a part of the way it works. The, if you read that, that Acts passage again, if they weren't devoting themselves to the apostles' teaching, the fellowship, the breaking of bread, and prayer, would everyone have been filled with awe and many wonders had been performed by the apostles? The two verses go together. I mean, keep reading. That's how it works, right? I mean, if you're walking in sin or if you're walking in neglect, Okay, I'm not sinning. I'm not doing anything wrong, what we would call sin, right? We're walking in neglect. If you're walking in neglect, but then when the moment happens, you expect that the Spirit of God is going to empower you. Like, I have a power bill that comes to my house every month, okay? And the company expects me to pay the bill, right? So let's just say that, you know what, we decide as a family we want to save some money, so we're going, we're going to turn the, you know, it's nice temperature outside. We don't need the air conditioner right now. The sun's out till whenever, and it's going to be for a long time. we out to, you know, 9, 30 at night, time to go to bed anyway. So let's just, we don't need any power. Let's just not worry about that. And then all of a sudden, there's a day comes when I need to turn the lights on. And I flip a switch. If I've not been paying my bill, it doesn't matter how many times I flip that switch, there is no power on the other end. Does that make sense to you? Why would that be? Because there is an expectation that the company who allows the power to get to my house has. Now, the wires are still there, right? The way that the power gets from the power source to my house is still there. But when I stop paying my bill, it stops over there. There is someone who has to allow that power to flow to my house. So if you're a Christian, if the Spirit of God has indwelt you, if you know that you're saved, you're not going to lose your salvation. The wiring is still there. The relationship with God, the Spirit is indwells you, the Holy Spirit lives in you, are saved. But that does not mean there is a power flow that is taking place. Because if you're not paying the bill, and it's not by money... But it's by words like surrender and obedience and trust, about having a right heart and a right head, that kind of stuff, right? It's about being willing to surrender to God whenever God asks, those kind of things, whatever that word is. It's about not grieving and quenching the Holy Spirit because grieving and quenching the Holy Spirit turns off the power source. And there are many Christians, love God, love their church, love people, but they are powerless. Powerless. 